guys, I am back in my favourite place in the entire world, Disneyland Paris, <laughs> literally one month later, compared to our last trip, which was for Halloween, and now, as you can tell from my ears, it's Christmas, and I am so excited. It's my first time here during Christmas season. It's something I've always wanted to experience, and I'm here with Katie again. Hiya! And we've got um, Sarah meeting up with us tomorrow. As always, we organise, like, last minute and like around everyone's work schedules and <laughs> um, so we'll be seeing her tomorrow which is also Mickey Mouse's birthday so that will also be really good to experience in the parks and I've also got like a lot of like mutual friends around and everything a lot of Disneyland Paris fans are here for this weekend but I am so excited we just got here it's about five o'clock now and um, we just went into the Disneyland hotel to have a nosy at the gingerbread house we are not staying there but I'll insert a little clip here of us having a little <laughs> look around and pretending we belong <laughs> I might actually cancel my booking for my hotel and just get a last minute one for here because look how pretty guys. Then again, we might have um, decorations in ours. We'll see. <laughs> Nutella. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that in. Look at this gingerbread house, guys. Right, which brick should we go for? <laughs> uh, I'll go for all oh, the Mickey Clock. Oh my god. Right, if you saw my Halloween vlogs, you will know that I love garlands and we have got <laughs> loads of garlands here, so I'm very happy. <laughs> And the smells, oh my, oh my god. god, the gingerbread smell, like it, you can <laughs> smell the gingerbread and the hotel smell, it's yeah. the best combination. But right now we can actually hear the parade going on, but we're being strong because I don't know if we've missed a bit of it. And basically because um, it's Mickey's birthday, tomorrow is his actual birthday, but today there was quite a lot of press things going on. So they changed it to Stars on Parade was at midday and then the Christmas parade's in the evening. So there's actually two more showings, which is quite random, but I think it'll be For really us. good. <laughs> yeah, we'll experience it by night time, which will be really good. And um, imagine if the snow on Main Street is at the same time. Oh my God. I might cry guys, but yeah, we're gonna go inside. Ah, and there's garlands, there's garlands. So many garlands. <laughs> Christmas garlands. I love garlands. <laughs> it's so pretty. Christmas is like my favorite time of year and I just can't. Happy holidays. It feels so like American as well. Like happy holidays. <laughs> So beautiful guys look at the tree and they've still got all the blue decorations out which we thought were kind of like just for the 25th anniversary but that's over now even though Disneyland Paris don't seem to think so <laughs> but I actually really like it it's so pretty oh it's like so amazing it's quite busy because I think there is a lot of like press going on like I said um but oh my god look how pretty the presents wonder which one's mine <laughs> all of them are mine <laughs> oh my god when you look at it from this angle ah. it looks like they've probably just professionally filmed the parade if that's anything oh okay <laughs> anything to go by <laughs> here we have mickey giving minnie a present which once again is recycled from the 25th anniversary it's sad that like i know this but it's not oh, i don't know but <laughs> and there's the castle closer up oh so pretty Peter Pan and Wendy actually meeting later than I thought they did in Adventureland, but look how cute. Here's another one of Mickey's birthday cupcakes where Velvet will be meeting. We'll try and meet her at some point. So we just walked by a few meet and greets. <laughs> I'll just like carry on. <laughs> so we just walked by a few meet and greets and most were actually closed and we found Baloo and we asked the man if it was closed or not and he was like, no, it's fine. And we were like the last ones he let in. So uh, we are the last people. Pan, Pan. <laughs> So we're going to be the last people to meet Baloo, and I'm quite excited. <laughs> 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 I'm going to try and keep Say my voice out of it. Oh, it's getting a bit cold now. <laughs> <laughs> Your hair, you've got a bit of a cold now. I like it, it's like Welcome. So we just met Baloo and Katie made him look like Jedward. Yeah! <laughs> which is good! <laughs> we 
we restyled his hair. I don't even know what happened. We're a bit hyper. But right now, we're just going to go get food. I think we're going to check out the options for Hakuna Matata. And I can never pronounce the name, the Punta. I can't say it. The one in um, Frontierland. The Coco inspired one, we'll call it that. Um, but basically, uh, I actually was smart and checked the app and saw which ones were open. Because normally, every single place I go to uh, like closes at like 5 pm. Oh, what? That's a secret Mickey. Oh, oh my god. Is that a sticker or what? I don't know. Oh, I love it. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> there it is. Hidden Mickey. The castle is up there. You probably can't see me right now. But we just had some food in Hakuna Matata, which is actually um, really decked out for, um, oh, that'll be Goofy's Incredible Christmas. Oh, <laughs> um, anyway, um, so it was actually really decorated for Christmas, but I didn't film it. But anyway, we are currently going to try and meet up with Mitchell and some friends to go watch the parade. And I'm so excited because it's basically like a nighttime parade. I have not seen a nighttime parade in years. I saw Boo to You at uh, Magic Kingdom, but I'm not counting that because it's a special event. So I'm not seeing, I don't, well, this doesn't really count either. Ignore me. But anyway, we're seeing it. <laughs> We got to 
through Fantasyland to try and hopefully go on Pirates and look at the teacups, it's all so lit up. Oh my God, that parade was everything. I'm talking to you, not even looking at the camera because it's so dark, you can't see me anyway. <laughs> um, we had to uh, have a bit of an argument with a family because they thought they were entitled and could put their kids in front of us. Yeah. And we stood our ground. Yeah. We were stood there for 40 odd minutes no. <laughs> and they gave up. <laughs> but um, sorry, but I'm, I'm very opinionated about that. I'm like, if sometimes if I'm feeling nice, if they're asking a nice way, yes. Yeah. But um, they were really grumpy about it and it was a special kind of parade and there's one at eight o'clock if they're really desperate to wait for a spot themselves. So, you know, I paid for my ticket. This isn't like a rant right now and I'm just showing you pretty scenery at the same time. Our house of the Caribbean was broken down. We waited for literally like three minutes and we're back on again. Yay! Filming the typical bit of Caribbean, the Caribbean, the only bit that actually has good enough lighting to pick up on the camera. So we just did Pirates of the Caribbean and we just looked at the wait times on the app and we're actually going to go do It's a Small World now because it has a mini holiday Christmas overlay um, if you compare it to the one in California it'll be like nothing <laughs> but I feel like it's gonna be really cute because I've not experienced it before and um, what time is it now it's like it is it's just so weirdly late like 10 to 8 but my is... phone is fast so oh. I'm not late because <laughs> Fantasyland's not normally open this late is it really it normally closes for illuminations but like I said it's a very weird day because of all the press stuff which we're not invited to uh, not bitter yes. about that at all <laughs> um, but yeah we're gonna go do that and then we're also gonna do the Christmas tree lighting I think later on we haven't decided if we're going to do um, illuminations or not yet because we need to check into our hotel and yeah we don't really know but oh my god I just can't look at this so cute so we just popped in a shop and I feel like this probably is intentional because it's supposed to be like world's biggest mouse party but here we have like Epcot then we have like the Paris castle but then we've got like you know the tree of life and um the Magic Kingdom castle? Maybe that's Shanghai actually. Maybe it is supposed to be. Yeah, okay. Then we've got like California. Quite interesting, but I just saw it and I was like, Epcot, what's going on here? So for anyone wondering, here's some of the Mickey Mouse 90th birthday party merchandise, if that's like the right wording. Um, we've got some cards here, they're cute. Autograph book, photo albums and notebooks. Really like those actually. And we have mugs and bows over here. I'll try and show that properly. Really nice. Got my gloves on because it's cold. I'm quite tempted by this t shirt. It's only 20 euros and it's just really cute. I'd probably use it as like a pajama top or something. But um, all the hats and stuff if you want to be a bit extra, which you know, go for it. And then we've got the hoodies and the ears, which I love the design, but I just hate these kind of ears because they'll kill my head. But then there's also these ones, but I don't really know if I like. Mickey sat on my head <laughs> and then we've got these these are literally everything like I want this in my size please like it's a poncho with ears and then we have the Mickey suit this is like going on forever but the bow ties I've seen a lot of people get excited about the bow ties which I think is pretty kind of kind of like different isn't it but I feel like they'll sell loads and then puzzles and cups and everything literally I thought this was really afford affordable as well actually it's only um only 15 euros it's quite a nice little ornament type thing and a snow globe and I'm showing you like all this stuff you probably don't care about but you know I'm excited because it's merch. <laughs> we also have these really cute Mickey Mouse pens which is like the standard design but one for the party it's really cute and I never actually even showed you the proper Mickey plushes which I'll show you quickly and here he is I quite like that it's like I'm the more the old style I've like I'm really good when it comes to like plushes and teddy bears because like I don't really buy them anymore because they're so tempting but I know for a fact that I just won't use them but I always have to give them a good cuddle. <laughs> I keep finding more things but we've got the pins here and I really like this design with like the little clock and everything and we've got Mickey with his little key and then this one where he's in his party hat and there's also like little pouches and lanyard. The lanyard's quite cool but it's part of it isn't it? Maybe it's not. Ignore me. I plan to go on small world, timed it perfectly for the second Christmas parade and I have the best view ever. I can't guys, I actually can't. Look, we have like no one in front of us, a barrier, and we're watching it again! Ah! We're literally walking straight onto Small World and they opened up the second queue with us. So we like literally walked straight on. Like, yes. what are we doing? We're doing so well. <laughs> I can already hear the Christmas music. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the
that an advent calendar from Disneyland Paris exists. I literally need to buy it for myself. It's only $4.99, which I think is pretty fair, considering it's quite a nice special one. I'm probably going to get it on my last day so I don't like break it or anything, but a Disneyland Paris advent calendar, this is like everything I've ever wanted in life. Like, oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please join us in Town Square where we will light our beautiful Christmas tree. like kind of at the side not as central but like I could see everything because they're kind of higher and I was just saying that when I was younger I used to watch this VHS of like Disney Christmas Cute. sing-alongs and it had two two um two tapes in one I watched it obsessively and like it's just given me so many vibes of that oh. because when they um they sang <laughs> so it happens every time <laughs> and they sang a Christmas tree and I got a little bit teary-eyed because it just reminded me of that when I was younger it's just really surreal um but yeah we are actually gonna go get our luggage now I feel like we've done pretty well because um um, the park's closing later tonight because Saturday and all the weird stuff that's going on. Um, but we're thinking we're going to go beat the rush uh, because we have to check into our hotel. Yes, have Actually, a yeah, because nice and clean for Mickey's birthday. Yes, nice and clean for Mickey. <laughs> and I made some purchases earlier, so oops. Uh, <laughs> I bought the advent calendar. Let's just say that because it's so cute. Okay, like I'm a grown adult. <laughs> But anyway, we're gonna go get our luggage and then I'll do like a little mini room tour because I've not stayed at our hotel before. We are at the BMB Disneyland Paris, which is basically next door to my old faithful curiad, but still different. <laughs> we have made it to our hotel room. I look a bit of a mess, but you know what? I am so impressed. This is like we've got a family room just for the two of us, I'll show you. Just the two of us. <laughs> We've got single bed there, single bed there, and we've got a double here, and it's really spacious, and the view's quite cute, like a little kind of green area over there. It's called grass carry, but yeah, a little green area. <laughs> but yeah, I'm quite impressed because, um, I mean, the lady at check-in was really nice. She kind of explained everything because there's no key for the room, and you just have like a little code, like, uh, she says, really nice to stuff my shoes <laughs> 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 
to be fair, I've done the same this with socks. There's a load. <laughs> 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 uh, I was saying, um, it's like yeah, it's a keypad to get into the room. So which is, she, said, she said there was like no key and I kind of thought to myself, what does she mean? But there's like a little keypad. So we're going to have to remember our code. Um, the food, we got our breakfast included because it's the B&B. Um, <laughs> And uh, there's a cute little Disney shop in here, um, and it's actually got quite a good ear range. I was quite impressed with the range of Minnie Mouse ears. The only negative so far is that we wanted to get a drink from the vending machine, and it had contactless payment. Great, but no, it won't accept our cards. It doesn't do anything. We thought maybe it's because our it's our like our, our travel money cards, but it won't accept our actual bank card either. So we're gonna have to go like get change because. I don't actually have any cash euros, which is probably not that smart. Katie does. And we are watching the French version of Dancing with the Stars, apparently, and it's all very intense right now. <laughs> okay. So yeah, that is basically it for day one of Disneyland Paris. And oh my god, I'm in such a Christmassy spirit. Like, everything was amazing. We did pretty well in the end because we only arrived at like 5pm. And um, we did Small World Christmas Edition. We did Pirates Walked On after it closed down. Um, then we did The Parade twice at night time, which is like a one time opportunity, I guess. And we stumbled onto it the second time, so that was amazing. And um, we had food at Hakuna Matata. I don't know if I ever actually said that, but yeah, might have. Um, but then we also did some shopping. I bought a few bits. It's not not much. Um, you got my advent calendar. You got my advent calendar. Oh my god. Um, and then we watched the light up Christmas thing. What's the word? Christmas tree lighting. Um, so yeah. So as always, thank you so much for watching. This is just day one. Um, it's Saturday, and we're staying until Tuesday. So we have so much more stuff to do. We need to go in the studios, which has amazing Christmas shows. Apparently, it's yes. got surprise Mickey so for Mickey's night. Oh yeah. Oh my god. And um, we've got the Christmas band. Mickey's Christmas big band. I could not say the words right, Mickey's big Christmas band? I don't know. Um, but anyways, we get to see Sarah tomorrow as well, and it's Mickey's 90th birthday. Happy and birthday, Mickey! Oh, we've got him a card. We are those people. So, <laughs> we need to, we, oh, we've got a pen, have we? I have a pen, I've got a pen. You, oh, you bought a pen? Perfect. So we're going to write Mickey's card, as you do. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Please do like if you've enjoyed, and stay tuned for Mickey's birthday tomorrow, and loads more Christmas festivities, and bye for now.